Today we have a quick video taking you through the process of replacing the wrist pin bushings in a set of connecting rods for a C12 CAT engine. If you're new here, we are Jamzy Online, a father-son automotive machine shop in rural Colorado. Before we get into the actual process of removing the old bushings, one of the first steps we take is to actually use our magnetic yoke to demagnetize the connecting rods. I'm not going to pretend to have a complete understanding of how connecting rods develop magnetism after a life cycle, nor will I pretend to have a complete understanding of how passing them through a magnetic yoke demagnetizes them, but it is an important step in the process. If you think about it, having the connecting rods magnetized will pull any of the small debris and metal particulates right to your crankshaft bearings, and that's far less than ideal. With all of the connecting rods and caps demagnetized, the caps are matched up to the corresponding rods, and the bolts are installed and torqued. The big ends are checked, and we often find that medium and heavy duty connecting rods need the big ends resized less often than the typical automotive applications that we work with, and in this case, they do check out, so we can move forward with removing the old pin bushings. With the connecting rod clamped in the vise and a sharp chisel in the air hammer, we can carefully drive the chisel into the bushing and gradually begin to push the old bushing out of the connecting rod bore. It can be easy to get carried away and damage the connecting rod, but as long as you're careful to not drive the chisel through the bushing and into the connecting rod, they'll come out with zero damage to the actual bore. We got a brand new set of IPD bushings with the IPD engine kit that we supplied for our customer. With the small end of these rods having a tapered design, the bushings are not as easy to install as bushings in a straight ended rod. We do have various homemade drivers that we have built to be able to press tapered bushings into place, but the past few years we've actually been using a temperature differential to our advantage in order to install the bushings. I always find it funny that when we use a press to overcome interference fits, the comments tell us that we did it wrong and we should have used a temperature differential, but when we use a temperature differential, we see comments telling us that we should have used a press. So I'm interested to hear what the comments have to say on this one. With the rod torch fired up, we'll gradually heat the small end of the connecting rod, which will expand the small end bore enough to overcome the interference fit, allowing the new bushing to slide right into place. A stopwatch is set to help heat the rods uniformly and prevent overheating, and we have a small camshaft bearing driver that actually works very well as a handle to hold the bushing and slide it into place which can then be released when the bushing has equalized to the temperature of the rod and the interference fit has been achieved. While some pin bushings are sold as honable bushings, which are already very close to the finished size, we prefer to source borable pin bushings as they have more material there to allow us to bore and make sure our center to center distance is to the correct spec. We also have one of the new wrist pins from our new pistons so that we can measure and double check against the factory specification to make sure that we finish the new pin bushings for the correct clearance. A cutter will be set up for our boring machine, which will be used to rough bore the pin bushings with the goal of leaving just a few thousandths of an inch of material to finish later on in the connecting rod home. Earlier, before removing the old pin bushings, we had set up the fixture on the machine and verified the center to center distance of the rods currently, which came out just inside spec at 9.5470 inches. And some engines have a pretty wide tolerance range on center to center distance, but the C12 spec only allows for a little over a half thousandths variation. Depending on how the material cuts, we do like to use a small coating of cutting fluid on the bushings as we rough bore them to size. As you can see, these bushings have plenty of extra material to remove, which we actually prefer over not having enough material and therefore being unable to hit our desired center to center spec. The cutter is running at the maximum RPM of this machine here, which is just over 600 RPM, and the auto feed is set on the Z axis to bore each bushing. As the machine runs, I just wanted to give you a quick reminder to be sure to like and subscribe, drop a comment, and check out all of the links in the description to help support us and our future content. Once all the pin bushings have been rough bored to size, it's time to head over to the sun and rod honing machine and get set up to finish the pin bushings for the proper wrist pin clearance. The bore gauge on the machine is set to our final diameter using a micrometer, allowing us to double check the diameter as we hone. We also set up the power stroking attachment on the machine, which is super handy and saves your back when honing rods. If you know, you know. The machine also needs the proper sized honing mandrel for this diameter range, and the belt speeds are changed for the proper RPM and stroke rates. As the honing begins, the hand wheel at the top is turned in order to feed the stones into the bushing. Having rough board close to our final size, it takes just a small amount of honing of each connecting rod to bring them to the finished size. The diameter is double checked on the gauge every step of the way, but for some of the old school guys like the cleaning guy here, nothing beats giving it a quick check by hand with the pin bushing to make sure it feels right. 
We hope you enjoyed this quick five minute video on the process of replacing pin bushings in a set of C12 CAT connecting rods. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. And as a thank you to IPD Parts for helping us on this video, check out their links in the description.